everyone, it's Clint from VIP Reviews. We're here today at um, Super Flux Cabana Rooftop Patio. So it's right here next to, uh, we're actually in, you can pan over there. We, can, we were, we're just in the Discovery Coffee, right on the corner of Brown and Douglas, I believe. So it's right next to Super Flux Cabana Rooftop. Super nice place. I got a little shot of the inside for you guys without getting a whole bunch of people uh, on camera. Um, I don't know if you want to move up a little bit closer. So I got their um, griddle pies, which is basically like a, it's like a pizza in a little burrito. They kind of wrap it up in like a uh, tortilla shell, I believe. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. And then I got their, um, I'll have the menu ingredients on the screen as usual. And then I got their cabana burger uh, with the cabana fries on the side. It all looks amazing. So I'll start it off real quick here. This is the griddle pies. So it's like a pizza in a burrito roll. Something like that. Taste test. There's some sort of drizzle on it too. I mean, it's no pizza, but it definitely has that. Okay, these are good. It's definitely no pizza, but um, for like a little starter appetizer, it's nice. The cheese is actually kind of like crispy on the inside. And they're just little bites. Um, kind of reminds me of just like a cheese stick, like a jalapeno popper, but better for sure. Rating on the griddle pies. I think that's what they're called. It's like a really high-end pizza pop. <laughs> um, kind of tastes like a pepperoni stick a little bit with the pepperoni slices in there. If I was up there having a drink and ordered these, I would devour them in two seconds. Rating though, I'll give it like a 7.9. Out of 10. Very good, very good griddle pies. I would definitely order them again. I definitely recommend trying them. Okay, and then let's get to the real deal here. I just wanted to throw this in because I know it's been a while since I've done pizza, guys, but soon I'll be doing the rest of the island. I'm gonna do it, and uh, Vancouver. Probably the rest of Canada, unless Portnoy beats me to it. Okay. Cabana burger and cabana fries. get a little look at it here looks amazing I'm trying to get the sun on it look at the big slices of uh, bacon on there burger looks nice I'll try and have a better picture of it on the screen for you guys super nice day out I was wearing a sweater had to take it off a couple tourists in town okay cabana burger I'll have ingredients on the screen taste test I'm not a big burger guy unless it's a smash burger but uh, this one looked appealing on the menu, so I wanted to try it. I think it's like 19 bucks. Taste test. I don't know how well you can see that right now, guys. We're not in the best spot, but that's pretty damn good. Especially for not being a smash burger. It's kind of cooked how I like it. Um, lots of good cheese. It's supposed to have fried onions in here. Which I don't. Yeah, there's no fried onions. It's just regular onions on the bottom. I thought it was going to be like those fried onions from the keg. That was kind of what I was most excited for. When I get a burger, I love when there's like a stack of those fried frizzy onions on it. And I don't see any on here at all. But that's all good. It's still tasty. Because as you guys know, I'm not an onion fan, but I like it when they're deep fried and frizzy like that. Um, so... 
probably would have rated a little bit higher if the, if the uh, deep fried onions were on there, like a good amount. But without it, it's still good. Um, rating on this cabana burger. See, that's why I don't like onions unless they're fried. Like, that's an onion. Is it an onion or a worm? Okay. Um, right next to the Royal Theater here. I'm going to sell that place out one day doing comedy. Make sure you get your tickets when they become available. Um, okay, so the burger. I was really wishing they had fried onions on it. Um, without the fried onions, I'd probably rate it like a... Uh, 8.6 out of 10. It's a really good burger. I definitely recommend trying it. I just wish the, fr the fried onions on there I probably would have kicked it up to like an 8, 9. Um, okay, let's get the cabana fries going. We got the bacon. There's like cheese curds on here and jalapenos. And they're like curly fries. So I'm going to try and get a little chunk here that has a little bit of everything on it. Taste test. These are really good too. Your standard kind of McCain curly fries with some cheese on it, bacon, jalapenos. Can't go wrong. Um, rating on the cabana fries, very, very good. Like I said, if you're having a drink with any of this, you're just gonna absolutely think that some magician made it. Um, curly fries, cabana super lux. 8.5. It's very good. I definitely recommend trying it. Uh, a little disappointed about not having the fried onions on there, but overall, really good experience. I will definitely come back here. And their, uh, their patio is super nice, so come and check it out. Next to Discovery Coffee. Shout out to Logan, the owner of Discovery. Went to school with him. Um, I think that's going to be it from Super Flux Cabana Rooftop. Come check it out. They uh, just opened in November. On to the next one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my review of Super Flux Cabana. Please subscribe on YouTube and hit that like button if you can. Cheers.